Batman Superman, World's Finest Issue 23, finds Gog telling Magog that his name means gateway in his ancient alien language, perfectly encapsulating David's role. The Mobius chair finishes transferring its multiversal energy and Gog calls up a multiversal map, explaining that he took steps to stop Earth-22 from discovering the multiverse since a mindful shepherd keeps his flock penned so they don't stray. But then David turned up, charged by his ship's unique transdimensional energy, which Gog knew he could use for his grand ascension. He tells David that he asks the heroes to join them, surprising David since they were already under his control. But Gog believes that he is a benevolent god, only slightly pushing them in the right direction and not outrightly influencing them or controlling them. As Gog proclaims that they will lead the earth through the gates of glory, the world's finest arrive, thinking that if he describes Apocalypse as glorious, then he is more deluded than they thought. The heroes get to work, with the Batman tackling Magog out of the Citadel and high into the sky. The Earth-22 Superman tells Gog that he and Batman aren't under his influence anymore, and he gets one chance to stand down and explain himself, or he will answer for what he has done to his friends. Gog becomes enraged, having had enough of their ingratitude. Attitude. As Gog attacks the Men of Steel, David tries to convince the Batman that Gog wants to make them immortal. The heroes don't buy a word of what he has to say as Earth Zero's Superman tells Gog that he has never been to Apocalypse and battled Darkseid, but he has. The older Superman wants to know why he would lead Earth's heroes into a fight he knows they can't possibly win, but Gog knows that it was all just to earn him what he was unjustly denied eons ago. Gog can feel the summoning has begun and Earth's heroes begin to gather around the world, becoming the final stepping stone to eternity. He says that his people believed that the only way to get into Valhalla is to die in noble combat, and this is all he has ever wanted. David Meemaw continues to try and convince the Batman that Gog's plan is of good intentions, saying Gog raised him when Earth Zero's Superman and Batman abandoned him. Batman says they continue to look for him, and they are there now to help him. Earth-22's Batman grabs David from the shadows, telling him to wake up from his delusions. Bruce knows that David is reluctant to fully believe in Gog's plan, but the villain throws him through a wall, demanding that he shut up. Earth Zero Batman hopes that David will stop tormenting himself and come back with him to their Earth. David refuses the offer since he's admired on their world, and on Earth Zero, he's nothing but a failure. Batman begs to differ since Superman saw him as his son, and no matter what mistakes he might have made, Superman still believes in him, and David is more than worthy of his respect. David begins to crack, but knows that Superman doesn't think that he would make a great hero, but Batman reminds him that Superman never lies. The Supermen continue to assault Gog, asking if he is so intent on this grand ascension, why did he limit his gift to just one universe? Gog shrugs off their attack, telling them that where he came from, a conflict between two powerful realms created a cataclysm that destroyed them both. He slams the older Superman into the ground, stabbing Earth Zero's Superman with his horned helmet as he tells them that if mortals got involved in their conflict, they would simply be obliterated and condemned to the darkness forever. He warns that if someone opened a doorway between two realities there, then that same Armageddon that killed his people will come, and he has come to care so much for the human race, and he doesn't want to risk them being killed off. Gog is angered that the Superman dare speak for the champions who earned his offering and their lives are but just a blink in existence, so why wouldn't he want to lead them into eternal heaven? Earth-22 Superman tells him that maybe that is how they all view a millennia old god, but their fate isn't for him to decide. Gog wants to demonstrate how wise his plan is, wanting the Superman to be the first to greet them when they get to heaven. He begins crushing the heroes as Magog, along with Earth's other heroes arrive, telling the villain that the heroes are not happy they were manipulated. Gog welcomes their futile attack, wanting to send them all to the afterlife himself. He blasts the Mobius chair with his power, opening a boom tube portal to Apocalypse. Batman tries to get Superman up since they need him, grabbing his friends and telling him that Gog's ability to overpower free will reminds him of something. The anti-life equation and finding it and using it to dominate the stars has always been Darkseid's goal, and if 
if Gog has it, then he will give it to the villain when he dies. Gog rips his way through the other heroes and Batman tells the Superman that this is now a fight for the whole cosmos. And while the heroes are the best, they aren't good enough. And this is a job for Superman. Both Supermen join the battle, uppercutting Gog and knocking him out. Superman helps up the other heroes before finding David, who apologizes for everything he did. Clark is glad to see that David is finally free from Gog's influence, but right now they need to shut down the boom tube and they can figure out what happens next. Suddenly Darkseid and his parademons come through the portal, telling the heroes that there is no need to decide what comes next, since Darkseid is. 